Thank you all. Uh, I want to welcome everybody. I'm incredibly pumped to come out and see this many folks gathered to talk about the arts in my hometown. These are exciting times for the arts and for our community. I'm amazed at the growth and the improvements in Tampa and beyond as someone who's lived here and seen when there wasn't such great, exciting things. With the arrival of a new mayor who understands the power of the arts on many levels, I think we can mark this date and this gathering as a start of a new era of growth and excitement around the arts. So the arts and culture are incredibly important and they've always been important here in Tampa. You know, our diversity of cultures here is what defines us as a city and our diversity is something that we embrace every single day. And that is incredibly important because again, as I stated, we were built on our diversity here in the city of Tampa. Ensure that we are including all communities in the bargain, all the way from uh, young humans who are immigrants to all the way to young humans who are LGBTQ+. When we fail to do that is when we end up having heavily institutionalized artistic platforms that do not provide access to everyone, including young humans. As a city, we are active in the arts. Uh, and just a few examples of that that hopefully you all have seen, uh, Lights on Tampa. So ideally, art and cultural production of all kinds could be central to the thriving urban city uh, of Tampa as it enriches the lives of those who participate in it, both as maker and as audience. We have beautiful parks, and I see them as so underutilized, not only uh, places for artists to uh, exhibit their wear, but street musicians and street dancers. Are they not allowed in Tampa, or why don't you see them in some cities and not in others? It is my intent to activate all of our parks around the community so that we can highlight each neighborhood. And one of the programs that I just talked about, we're going to activate first in the Barnes Park and then things like Rolette Park right on the river. It's absolutely beautiful. We could have all types of concerts and everything else. The Sulphur Springs Tower, everything we could do there. So yes on that as well. My question to the mayor is if she has any plans to revive the Poet Laureate ship. And if so, when might we hear about those plans? Poet Laureate, we have had James Tokley for um, a long time. He's retiring, but yes, we're definitely gonna have a Poet Laureate. My comment is just that I don't see how Tampa can move forward with an arts and culture commission or a plan without first addressing who is missing from the table and how to intentionally include them. It's very important who's at the table. That, that has defined my career, uh, diversity. You know, we're all a sum total of our life experiences and you have to have those life experiences at the table making decisions that affect our community. Thank you all for coming out here this evening. This is wonderful. I would like to thank everyone who, who put this event together this evening. You know, a lot of work, a lot of energy goes into making something look easy and look flawless. So thank you all very, very much.